Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports back with another interview today. I'm happy to be joined by outfielder for the Georgetown Hoyos, Michael Drenzi. Michael, thanks for joining me. Yeah, you know, thanks for talking to me. Of course, thanks for coming on. You played at Seton Hall Prep for the Pirates. They're one of the top 25 teams in the country. It's a b great baseball organization. Can you tell me about your time playing at the Prep? Well, yeah, you know, it was great. You know, I played with Mike Shepard Jr., you know, the brother of uh, Seton Hall's, you know, current coach. Uh, it was a great experience, you know. Um, pretty crucial to me ending up here at Georgetown, my development as a baseball player, for sure. After your uh, freshman year, which you did pretty well, and you won your spot as in, with a starting position in the outfield, what did you do on and off the field, and what did you work on the most to show the coaches that you were worthy of that outfield spot? Well, I mean, I've always had the raw talent. I've always been fast, always have had a good arm. You know, it's just a matter of, you know, becoming a better baseball player. So, I mean, for me, it was just, you know, basically a matter of, you know, hitting, you know, becoming the hitter that I should be with the tools that I have, um, you know, just – you know, always came with a positive attitude and um, always kept working, work, working hard, taking good BP, and, you know, I had to take advantage of my opportunity when I got it. So you hit 332 last year. That's that's really good. What was the key to your success? What was that one um, role that you played that led you to that success? Just sticking with a consistent approach, really. Yeah. If you come in, you know, you have one approach, you know, let's say it's hit the ball in the ground the other way and you're doing well, you know, anything could happen, you know, you can hit a home run, but, you know, you just can't, you can't really come out of that approach and you know, try to hit home runs or something like that, you know. So, as you said, the key is that approach. Right now you're hitting 383. You have a lot of eyes on you. You're the two-hitter for this Georgetown, in this Georgetown lineup. What's the mentality in your game when you go out onto that field? You know, just playing the same game every time I step out on this field. You know, remaining calm. I have to remain calm. Don't get caught up in the moment too much. Stay loose. You know, have fun in the end. So this past season you played with the Pilgrims in the NECBL. What was that whole experience in the uh, Summer Collegiate League, the New England Summer Collegiate League? Like? I thought it was a good experience. I, you know, it was a bit tough for me. I feel like <clears throat> without the guidance of the coaches that I have here, I sort of didn't perform as well as, you know, I should have and to my potential. But it was a good experience, you know, using wood, you know, seeing college arms, you know, that I wouldn't see during my season from across the country. All right, thank you so much.